Nigerians. Justice at last. EFCC arrests INEC officials who Governor Nwike bribed with $362 million to rig election. At least we are going to somewhere. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. According to Vanguard News, seven independent National Electoral Commission INEC employees who were fired due to allegations of bribery and corruption have been charged by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. The seven officials were charged on Tuesday with seven current involving conspiracy, fraud, and the laundering of $362 million before Justice Chuka Upiozo of the Federal High Court in Lagos. The EFCC claims that the officials obtained the cash from the former River State Governor Jason Wiki during the state's legislative rerun elections on December 10, 2016. The defendants in the arraignment, including Guatana, Jibri, Igu, Aguma, Kenet, Musu, Kelechi, Nwangwo, Mrs. Domini, Opara, Nwachiku, Oji, and Musu, Oluchi. The defendants allegedly planned to bribe election officials and other people in order to affect the results of the legislative rerun elections, according to the EFCC. In addition to pleading for a trial date, Mr. Rotimi Uyedekbo, the, prosecu the prosecution's attorney, urged the court to remind the, the defendants in prison court study. Yet, Mr. Dots, Dot A, the defendant's attorney, O. O. C. Fora, informed the court that he had submitted a request for the defendant's release on bail. The defendants were each granted bail in the amount of 50 million, with two shorties in the same amount by Justice Obiozo after hearing from both attorneys. The shorties were also required to deposit their international passport with the courts and have landed properties under the court jurisdiction, according to the judge's order. The trial date for the case has been postponed to June 7. Recall that three INEC officials were previously charged by the EFCC in connection with the same bribery scandal. In order to sweep the results of the state legislative rerun election on December 10, 2016, the officials who are still on trial alleged solicited $111.3 million from Wiki. Can bribery and corruption ever end in Nigeria? Will justice be done to these arrested INEC officials? That is the question. This is what happened. This happened since 2016. And the matter is still long. Why, why the delay? Why all this delay? Because at the end of the day, it's going to end in nothing. That is it. It's going to end in nothing. But they should not still forget those who rigged the election recently. Yes, EFCC should not still, you know, forget those who recently rigged the 2023 election you understand because the 2023 elections is a kind of uh, a big saw in the heart of nigerians they don't want to accept it that is why you see people talking about it here and there i don't know when all these things will end in nigeria you know when people will say eh, mahmoud yakubo rigged election don't forget that the, the election was not rigged in abuja it started from somewhere Funny enough, this is the same uh, Nigeria, uh, common Nigeria man, you know, 
who is struggling to eat, who is struggling to pay school fees for their children and all that, who go to filling station to go and queue. Not that they, 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 you are queuing for a cheaper, you know, a fuel or whatever. We still collect 10,000 naira, 5,000 naira to go and snatch by Lord Borses. When we go learn sense, those people you are fighting for, immediately they get there, they have abandoned you. They will never pick your cause again. Instead of few, you know, to do the needful. Now, all these cases in Nigeria, EFCC, this and that, hey, these people too cannot, cannot be trusted because you will see them, you know, then they do giri 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 as if say they won't they won't do better thing for for the for the matter. Before you see, you not go hear this that story again. There was a time we heard a story that snake swallow money. Now in Nigeria it happened. Till today we don't know how that case ended. Politicians will be charged with uh, uh, corruption. The next thing you see them coming to court with bandage and stretcher pretending that they are dying. The next thing you will hear that EFCC or court have discharged their case. Why? And that is why all these things have, uh, have refused to stop happening. Because those, these, nothing is being done to those people who, who actually, you know, go against the law. So why would other people not do? You can't just be like, say, that one are your turn. Chop, make a chop. Nothing they happen. Nigerians, make a drop out for you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.